Innovation Automap, the only truly intelligent MIDI control. Novation featuring Automap, the number one choice for MIDI control. We're here at Music Mesa with Malcolm Toft from Toft Audio Designs. He's going to give us a five minute tour of his console which is now on sale and wonderful and very apparently used in very high places. Okay, for those who don't know, the ATB is a console design primarily for recording studios rather than for live. Uh, for that reason, it's got things like a built-in talkback system and mostly designed for multi-track. Um, it's an 8-bus console uh, with a full monitoring section for 8-track. For um, but just going back to the input section first of all to describe the features that we've got. It's uh, a, a modular console as well, which is pretty unusual. It's individual channel strips, it's not surface mount, you can take the thing apart, you can service it, so the idea is that this will be around for many years to come, hopefully long after I'm gone, so that people can still repair them. You can plug in the ICs, you know, you can change things, and some people have even hot-rodded them, you know, changed them and modified them to their own requirements, which is a useful feature to have. Going back to the channel strip, we start off at the top with the input level control, which provides both mic and line level inputs and you can uh, switch between the two. You've got a line switch which would select between mic and line. The gain on the mic goes from 10 dB to 60 dB, so got a lot of control. It's a very low noise, quiet, smooth mic preamplifier, so lots of control with that. Um, the EQ section is the next thing down in the channel strip. It's a four band sweep EQ, mid ranges, high and low shelving, this is the Trident Series 80 equaliser um, that many people might know. Low frequency shelving set at turnover points of 60 hertz and 120, selectable by a switch. High frequency switch selectable shelving between 8K and 12K. And then we can sweep the two mid ranges with a nice widely overlapping range from 100 hertz to 1.5K and um, 1K to 15K in the upper mid. Lots of control, nice musical EQ, which a lot of people know and love. Um, switchable 60 hertz, I'm sorry, 80 hertz, low frequency filter to get rid of rumble and, and pops and things like that. And of course, we've got an illuminated EQ bypass switch. The channel also has six auxiliary sends. We've opted here for mono auxiliaries, there aren't any stereo ones on this console. Find that generally mono auxiliaries are more flexible for people in studios, you know, for headphone feeds, uh, reverb sends, etc. And the uh, auxiliary one is permanently pre-fade, the idea being that you'd normally use that for a headphone feed. And then two through six are switchable both pre and post. So you've got again a lot of flexibility with the auxiliary sends. Below that, we've got a very useful feature, which is the inline monitor section. Every channel's got its own balanced input, self-contained uh, monitor input. And with this, of course, we can take the return from a DAW system and monitor it while we're laying down tracks. So you've got it, an, uh, a self-contained balanced monitor input with pan control, level control, you can borrow the last two auxiliary sends and put those onto the monitor section as well so you can provide a headphone mix and a reverb send when you're tracking. Another nice feature is that you can borrow the channel EQ and put it onto the monitor section so it gives you a lot of flexibility and of course we can mute the monitor section as well. Another nice feature we've got wrapped around that is the fact that we've got an input reverse control. When I hit the input reverse control, whatever's coming through the channel line input goes onto the monitor section. Whatever I've got coming through the monitor section goes onto the channel. So if I was using this to do a mix of my uh, DAW, um, I can put that straight onto the channel and then do my mix back on the channel. Again, a lot of flexibility. Of course, when we're mixing down, because I can use both the channel and the monitor simultaneously, this 24 input console becomes a 48 balanced line input console with pan, with level, feeding the master output. So a lot of, lot of channel inputs. 
Because these days, that's what people want. Lots of inputs to the stereo mix. Okay, and now, over in the master section? Yeah, well, just before that, the, the other thing is that we've got a direct output from every channel. So, of course, using the direct outputs and the monitor section, we've got a perfect DAW feed Absolutely. sent and return. Yes. So we can record 24 track, we can monitor 24 track without even using the eight yeah. buses. So it's so, got all the traditional features of a large online console. Absolutely, absolutely. And most people we find use the direct outputs. They hardly use the busing of the eight subgroups, but it gives you that facility to be able to subgroup as well. Yeah. So that here we can assign to our subgroups, and incidentally we've got a, an LED, two, two LED display which shows both channel signal present and peak signals as well so you can see what's going on through the channel then we come to the monitor section which again is pretty fully featured we've got our eight subgroups fed from the the routing buttons here so these are our our faders controlling our subgroup sends we can listen to either what's going to the subgroup or what's coming back from a tape return into the monitor section so we can flip between console out and tape return or DAW back into the monitor section. We've got a monitor level control, we've got a monitor pan, uh, we've got a solo on the monitor and again the last two auxiliary sends. So in conjunction with the inputs where we've got 24 standard channels, 24 monitors plus our eight subgroups, we've got 56 line inputs to the mix on this small console. And that makes it you know, a very usable console in recording terms. And lastly, we've got eight stereo effects returns as well with their own level control, balance and mute. So again, this adds another 16 inputs to the mix. So that gives us 72 line inputs to the mix uh, with, this, with this console. And then in the master section, we've got the standard features of a master solo control. We've got a headphone jack built in so you can listen on headphones. We've got an alternate monitor system. We've got a mono of the monitor system as well, control room level, uh, talk back built in with its own level control, talk to groups, talk to auxiliaries, and a master stereo fader for the stereo mix. So very comprehensive and compact console in this sort of size. A useful recent addition is the meter bridge, which allows us to meter the direct outputs from all of the channels. So we've got you know, a lot of flexibility again, and it can also monitor the DAW returns. Price-wise, this console in, in the UK of 24 inputs is around the three and a half thousand pound mark. So again, a lot of console for the money. Its own self-contained rack mounting power supply. Uh, no fans, runs completely cool. Uh, designed to do the job and run for many many hours so everything is rugged uh, and everything is you know designed uh, to be used in a very flexible manner. Mm. That looks very attractive especially as there aren't many people now making traditional no, analog consoles. That's right we've got this lovely uh, lovely wood here which is you know beautifully finished uh, very attractive so the whole console's got a retro sort of look solid aluminium control knobs like the old Trident's had and it's designed very much like a Trident console was 20, 25 years ago. That was the aim and the objective. So we get the British sound as well? We get the British sound, we get the British engineering, you know, and we get it at a price point that everybody wants. And it's been very successful. We've sold consoles to, to Beck, Arcade Fire, The Coral, Hard Fire did their last album on it. Chad Blake, Peter Gabriel's producers, bought one to use with his, uh, with his icon. We've just sold one to Hot Chip. Um, you know, we've got a, a very prestigious array of users uh, with this console and we just recently heard that the uh, two ladies who did all the sound for the hit TV series Heroes have recorded all the music on one of these consoles as well. So we've got a pretty good client base, which says That's a lot, great. I think, for the quality of the console. Well, thanks for sharing that, Malcolm. Pleasure. Please. All the best. Pleasure. Thanks a okay. lot.